Uh, yeah, things are going going a lot faster this year for us. We're more comfortable being at home, being able to practice on our own field, not having to travel to the annex anymore. Um, the biggest difference between where we are now compared to last year is I think that the message that I'm pushing is getting through to this group a lot faster because, you know, again, we've had all summer to be with each other, all winter to be with each other in the weight room. And I think those those days in the weight room have, are adding dividends for us and, um, and it's making us mature faster because a lot of our younger players have the experience now and know what to expect out of playing varsity football. So they're eager to see how we stack up this year. That leads into my next question is there aren't a lot of uh, years in the past that I can remember where an SAC team started a freshman quarterback and a freshman running back. Yes. So um, you kind of have to take your lumps a little bit, mm -hmm. but that bodes well for the future. So uh, when you talk about Irby and you talk about KJ mm -hmm. back there in the offensive backfield, what do they bring to the table now that they've kind of figured out what it takes on a Friday night? Um, confidence. I believe confidence and, and a little bit of leadership. Even though they're young, they go about their business um, like juniors and seniors sometimes. Um, with their work ethic, the way they take on practice as well in the games, it's not a lot different. Um, with KJ, he's uh, he took a few lumps last year as a freshman quarterback, as any would coming into the SAC with the teams we face. Um, but I think that's going to accelerate his learning process. He's he's learning to read defenses a lot better now this year. A lot of it last year was was athletic ability and, and things that he'd learned before. But now he's getting in getting in the in the locker room, a lot of chalk talk and getting on the board and actually learning defenses, learning where the hot routes and stuff are going to come from. And with Irby, it's just about giving him space. Um, I'm, I've always I've raved about him since he's been in the eighth grade and I had had the opportunity to see him at Portage and now having him in our own backfield. Like I said, it's just about growth, keeping him healthy and growing. Um, I made the comment before that I believe he's going to be one of the premier backs in the city this year as a sophomore, and uh, we've got to do our part and open the holes up for him, but he'll do the rest. When you take a look at the defensive side, what excites you about what you have defensively, and who are some of the guys that are going to step into uh, bigger roles? I mean, you know, defense wins championships, yes. and uh, you know, kind of starts there for a certain degree. We, we have six starters, I believe, returning from our defense last year with us with a second team, all conference uh, safety with JT Timberlake coming back with us. We have a returning linebacker core, Silas Porti is coming back with us. We are adding TJ Snow to the secondary, Josiah Malone. So we have a lot of familiar young faces again, um, maybe only two seniors in that bunch right now, um, but they're all returning. They're all starters from last year. So we're, we're real confident about what our defense can bring, especially with our, our secondary. The trenches is where the work's got to be done, though, so that's that's where the majority of our work's coming. When you take a look at uh, an X-factor or a key for Southside to have a successful season, in your eyes, what is it here in year two with you? Um, just a total buy-in. From the coaching staff all the way down to all the players is buying into the system and pushing our system as hard as we can because the players are accepting it. And we see the growth. Even some days it's, it's smaller than others, but we see the growth and we see what we can do. And I think the kids are starting to buy into it. You know, more important, they're starting to buy into it. And that's what's going to bring victory sooner than later.